Dick Ramon, I call this meeting to order to stand for the pledge and a moment of silence. <coughs> pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda. All those in favor? Thank I'm you. raising my hand. Can you yeah, see? Gotcha. I got gotcha. you. Okay. 7-0. <laughs> okay, at this time I would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the March 24th regular board meeting. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Lots of hands. That's good. Yes, Jane. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. And I also would entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the April 7th special board meeting. So moved. Thank you. All in favor? Thank you. Okay. okay, we are ready for our Jefferson featured teacher video. Good evening, school board. I'm just here to talk about Jefferson's uh, Teacher of the Year and also our uh, hero. This is from March, so uh, this is what we would have presented to you if we had been there in March. Uh, our Teacher of the Year candidate was Miss Jackie Watson. Miss Watson taught second grade and has been a teacher for 11 years in the Farmington School District. Um, she was chosen because of her collaborating with the teams in the school, her being on the PGC committee. Uh, she was also very active in the ELA curriculum and doing mapping with standards. Uh, Ms. Watson uh, was a pilot teaching teacher for our new uh, reading series as well last year. Uh, she's taken trauma classes that were offered in the district and she uh, just goes out of the way to help others all the time. Uh, Ms. Watson, even though she did not do the math test every year, she would always send teachers in third and fourth grade a rock the test message and, and give them goodies for the math test every year. Uh, she always lends a kind word and a helping hand to anybody that needed students or teachers. And she uh, came to school ready to be a champion every day for her students. Students absolutely love Mrs. Watson in the classroom. They like her smile. She's always learning. She was always uh, engage with those <coughs> students in the classroom. And Ms. Watson is also very fluent in Spanish. And because of that, after we had her at uh, Jefferson, she was hired at the high school to be the new Spanish teacher this year. So we lost her, but she's still a great student for those uh, students at the high school have heard great things about the work she's doing there. Ms. Watson uh, works all the time to maintain her composure. She has some difficult students once in a while, some difficult situations, but she always did a great job with that. She made connections with our Spanish-speaking kids, uh, the kids that came in that were speaking Spanish, whether she had them in class or they were in the school, she always made connections with them. Uh, she's a very caring, compassionate person. She truly loves her students. Uh, she always has a, a very loving attitude towards her students. Never, any, nothing ever really riled her up. She did not get upset about things. She was always as cool, calm, and collected no matter what happened. Um, she also did a lot of fitness things in her classroom with the kids to keep them moving and, and keeping things going in the classroom to incorporate with her lessons. Uh, Miss Watson is married. Her husband is Zach Watson. And she has two children, Quincy and Bo. Uh, she's very active in her church and she has taken yearly uh, mission trips to Haiti. Uh, the summer before she went to high school, she actually had uh, donated school supplies to Haitian students that we all raised at Jefferson to take down to Haiti. Third. And she also helped while she was in country with the schools there in setting up their curriculum to be equitable for all students. So you can see her passion that she has not only for here, but for students even across the world in another country. Uh, Ms. Watson is a teacher's teacher. She loves what she does. Uh, you can see it on her face. She has a quiet demeanor. 
uh, we deny the impact she's had on students. Um, she wants very little recognition. She's one of those people that didn't like the recognition, but uh, the staff at Jefferson chose her because of all the things that she's done at school. Um, she is very special to her students and co-workers, and we were sad to lose her at Jefferson, but I know high school got to give her. Now we're talking about our Heartland hero. Our Heartland hero is Mr. Mike Medlin. Mr. Mike, as we like to call him at Jefferson, is a mentor through the YFC chapter in Farmington. Uh, he mentored one of our students at Jefferson all four years that the student was at Jefferson. Uh, Mr. Mike provides a level of love and guidance to the student, provides a good, solid male influence for him. He comes every week. Even when he was having his own health problems, he made sure he came to, to visit his student. His student always looked forward to the weeks he would come and he would drop by the office and he would make sure Mr. Mike was going to be there that day. Mr. Mike brings games, activities. He's even brought breakfast to the student in the morning for him to have and talks to him and shares those things with him. Mr. Mike provides a positive role model. Um, the student he has had has had some difficulties through the years, but this provided a social and emotional support for the student that only he could do, and he always checked on him, even when school was not in session. Uh, he's had to show some tough love to the student throughout the years, and that's and he's very very supportive of us at school, would always check in to make sure he was doing well, and if he was having a rough time or didn't do something as he needed to, uh, Mr. Mike would uh, address that. Mr. Mike is a transplant from North Carolina. He came to Farmington with his wife, Miss Brenda. They both are um, working in what work that she works at the uh, Roosevelt School, and he has done a great job for us every year. And uh, he's very active in his church and his community, and he's just a great person. So that's Mr. Mike Medlin, who is our Heartland hero. Thank you for the time to be with you today. <clears throat> now we have one from Dan Thompson. It is my absolute pleasure to present Charlotte Barnes as April's future teacher. Charlotte has worked in education for 36 years. For her first 11 years, she was a speech language pathologist for North County. We were lucky enough to steal her away, and Charlotte has worked for the Farmington School District for the last 25 years. Charlotte has worked as both a speech language pathologist and a process coordinator for us during her 25 years. She has spent time working in, I believe, every building our district has at one time or another, uh, either directly or helping out. Charlotte is great with students, teachers, parents, and administrators. She knows special education inside and out, not only the legal aspects of the job, but what it means to help and support students in the classroom every day. She has mentored other process coordinators, special education teachers, and a number of our administrators, including myself. She is one of the hardest working people I know, though I never hear a complaint. It is for these reasons and a dozen more that I am proud to announce Charlotte Barnes as our future teacher. Maybe we should say we stole them away from them. They just made a good decision to come work for us. Thank you. She's definitely a really good one. Uh, yeah. I feel bad for our teachers that are retiring too, obviously. Oh, yeah. Work. Yeah. 25 to well, Charlotte, 36 years, and then, you know, not, not being able to finish out you know, with the kids. Makes it tough. Do you want to watch uh, Dr. Reese's presentation now? I thought we were. Yeah. So this will be the dual credit report by Dr. Brian Reeves. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Reeves, and I'm the dual credit director here at Farmington High School. And I'm here today to present to you the 2019-2020 dual credit report for Farmington High School. For students earning college credit during the 2019-2020 academic year, Farmington Senior High School had the following numbers. 409 students earned a total of 3,092 college credit hours through Mineral Area College 
during the 2019-2020 academic year, with over 1,962 hours earned in the fall 2019 semester, and 1,130 hours earned in the spring 2020 semester. This compares with the 2018-2019 data of 374 students who earned a total of 2,771 hours of transcribed college credit for Menlo Area College, with 1,616 credit hours earned in the fall of 2018, and 1,155 credit hours earned in the spring of 2019 semester. Uh, 1,889 college credit hours for the fall 2019 semester were earned, were dual credit hours earned through MAC at FHS and taught by FHS faculty members compared to the total of 1,388 hours for the fall 2018 term. 876 college credit hours for the spring 2020 semester were dual credit hours earned through MAC at FHS and taught by FHS faculty members compared to the total of 927 hours for the spring 2019 semester. 136 students received the College Now Farmington Scholarship during the 2019-2020 school year for a total expenditure of $48,088. For the 2018-19 school year in comparison, 105 students received the College Now Scholarship for a total expenditure of $37,700. As a reminder, to qualify for the scholarship, students must have a composite ACT of 21 or higher on file, and the scholarship covers half of the hourly MAC rate of $58 per credit hour, up to 15 college credit hours for the fall and spring semesters. This number is a significant increase in the number of students receiving the scholarships over the past year, as you can see from this graph. This year, 32 FHS seniors are on track to graduate with Associates of Arts degrees from Mineral Area College in May of 2020. Last year, 15 FHS seniors graduated with Associates of Arts degrees from Mineral Area College in May of 2019. An additional 24 Farmington High School students took 72 credit hours from Missouri Baptist University in the fall of 2019. Uh, during the fall 2018 semester, 12 FHS students took 39 college credit hours from the Baptist University. During the spring 2020 semester, 23 FHS students took 69 college credit hours through Missouri Baptist University, compared to 9 FHS students who took 27 college credit hours from Missouri <coughs> Baptist University during the spring 2019 semester. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the board for the continued support of the dual credit program and scholarship program at Farmington High School. Thank you and continue to stay safe. Have a good day. <laughs> Under our action items, had no one tell me they wanted to pull anything, so I would entertain a motion to approve items 5.01 through 5.07. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Thank you. All right, and then we'll individually do these others. Uh, high school furniture purchase. Any questions there? If not, I'd entertain a motion. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to buy furniture through the bond issue money at the high school. All those in favor? Any opposed? Okay, elementary furniture purchases. Entertain a motion 5.09. So moved. Second. second. <laughs> It was a tie. I have a motion in a couple seconds <laughs> to uh, buy elementary furniture. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay, 5.10, buying six buses. Uh, Mr. President, I did pull this because you said you was going to do this individual, but I've got a question on this. Um, the 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 difference between the low bid and the high bid, I was kind of wondering, you know, what made it so different. And I thought it was the uh, fire suppressor 
because she she put that she didn't uh, the other two didn't do that. So I thought, well, it must be kind of high. So I emailed her, and she emailed me back. <clears throat> and on her email, she said that Central States and Midwest both bid the Fire Gator at two thousand and fifty dollars, and Midwest Transit bid the Fog Maker at thirty one hundred and forty dollars. So. I was just kind of wondering why she put there wasn't, but then it was, and I was kind of wondering also what made the, the other specs much better for the buses that she's wanting because, I mean, we're talking uh, about $51,000 difference in that between the central states and the Midwest bus. And to me, that's a pretty good chunk of change to, to go on about if there's a great big difference on the specs and that. Um, Did they, were the buses exactly the same now? Well, it, it just, she just has... Uh, My understanding was the buses weren't, but it's yeah, not, she it's not going to be the same bus. The, the, um, on the Midwest Transit, price break at $2,100 if five or more buses are purchased, did not meet the fire suppression system, and didn't meet specs. And Midwest bus sales, price break, trade in amounts and final amount can be discussed in negotiation, did not meet fire suppression system, and didn't meet specs. So that's what I was kind of wondering, you know. I didn't ask for what specific specs. Yeah, I I, that's what because I, that, 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 I thought you know the specs usually we're asking for the underbelly, the mm -hmm. all equipment, and everything you know. So other than that, let me say this: having been in that position, right now you see buses running up down the street. One of them buses goes down. We have all those parts, and we bring it in and we repair that. We switched to a different line of buses. Now we've got to have a separate inventory. I, I, I understand that, but I'm just kind of wondering. Also, we just bought buses last year, and the, um, the who she's wanting, uh, the, um, who is it? Central States. They've increased their prices. 11% uh, on the route buses and on the cargo buses, 15%. Where Midwest bus, they've actually decreased their prices uh, a total of $3,000 on all the buses. So, if you if you guys want to wait, I mean, I well, I'm just kind of wondering, you know, and I understand, you know, what you're saying about having the stuff and everything, but it's. I didn't know anybody had any questions related to it. Otherwise, I would. Well, it was just I was just was just curious of that, that suppression because I'm thinking we've never asked this before, and we've got diesel buses, and there's I I wouldn't think there was that much of a fire hazard yeah, and everything, so. and I thought well maybe we could save a little money on that, but then when she emailed me back that all three of them did it, then and again I don't I I can't again I don't no I understand. And that, I, I, just, I, I thought maybe she was going to be here tonight, but, you know, well, I didn't, we didn't know there was any questions, so we would have <clears> her <throat> here, obviously, to answer this, yeah. I didn't know. Somebody's getting ready to shut down. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. If you want to email me those questions, I can, I can follow up with her if you want to wait. I, I know I mean, it says it doesn't meet specs, and I don't know if she asked for the fire suppression after as an ad and it wasn't put in here because if she told you the prices but it wasn't included in the well the, the, for the for the one that she's asking for that they do have the fire suppression central does yeah central. but, but the, the other would not but she must uh, did she email back to get a price to add it no i i she didn't say that she just said uh my question was can you please tell me how much per bus is the fire protection system in in the bid for central and she said Central, Jeff Central, which is Bluebird, and Midwest Bus, Thomas, both fire, uh, Gator, 2050, Midwest Transit Equipment, 
uh, bid fault maker 3140 and that uh, well, like I said it's not going to I mean it, it would change the timeline a little bit as far as when we would get them in but I'm I'm fine getting those answers for you and, push, and pushing it to next month like I said I would have I would have gotten you those if, if I would have known right? I know I know this it was just kind of you know wondered and I did this yesterday and I didn't have time to right no to today or anything so and it is exciting that we got a grant so we're actually getting six buses for the price of five right so that's always a, always a positive but I'll let but, you guys but, decide but I that. figured if we could save fifty one thousand oh yeah then did you could it possibly it buy another bus did you say it was three thousand for no the on the on the um Central State's 113000 something, right? Yeah, 113000 And the, the Midwest bus is 105000 on a wrap. Where the cargo bus is 119 and on the Midwest is 107 It was just it was just really what what was the difference in the specs that made them and right, they, they, and, the spec yeah and plus they 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 for last year when we bought them in April or May now they've increased their prices where the other one hasn't and that so well I know a piece of that too you know it's what Howard mentioned but we can definitely get those questions yeah. be happy to do that so I'll make a motion we table this this one right here, I'll and until we get questions. I have a motion and a second to the table. All those in favor? Those opposed? Okay. <clears throat> High school stadium upgrades. Are there any questions on the high school stadium upgrade? <coughs> Being no questions, I would entertain a motion. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the do the high school stadium upgrades. All those in favor. Any opposed? Okay, Lincoln Intermediate High School Roofing Projects. 5.12. Any questions? Not on the entertainment motion. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second for the roofing projects. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. This time I entertain a motion to adjourn to closed session. I would move to adjourn to closed session to discuss personnel pursuant to 610.021. Paragraphs 1, 3, 13, and 14. Need a second? Second. Falke? Yes. Freeman? Yes. Hahn? Yes. Howard? Yes. Boston? Yes. Noble? Yes. Payne? Yes. Okay, we're in closed session. <laughs>